Dude, entertainment in general, entertainment for me, particularly for me, video games, has taken a huge toll on me as a human being. I think that entertainment, really, people indulge in it so much. Uh, so much. People are obsessed with it, with television and with music and with art, like paintings, theater, film, sports. It's all entertainment. And it's all one direction. Like what, what entertainment can give, but it cannot receive. It's not a true relationship. You can't lock yourself away in a room for five hours and listen to music and think that you're really going to get anything out of it. Okay. I don't like the way that that sounded. Not that you're not going to get anything out of it. You'll get something out of it. It's in, it's in your mind. It's all in your own mind. When you hear music, everything that you're thinking, everything that you're feeling already was inside of you. It's not, it's not giving you another perspective. Maybe it is giving you another perspective. Maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I don't like that you can't give back. I don't like that you have to sit and listen or sit and take in and that you can't, you can't give back and, and change it like you can with a relationship. I'm telling you, if you want something real, something that will impact you and something that will change your life, don't listen to music. Go to the artist. Go to the musician. Have a conversation with, with, with the creator of the entertainment. Fuck the entertainment. The entertainment, it's nonsense. It's superficial. It's secondary. You go to the artist, the human being that put this together, that created this, that does this, it will blow your mind. Any question that you have, you can ask. Any, any, any statement you want to make, you let it out. You give it. That's better than art. People drown themselves in art. And it's not bad. Art is pretty amazing. Art is beautiful and and you can learn from art but you nowhere near as much as you can learn from the artist I've been uh, I'm a horrible video game addict my whole life I've just I didn't do drugs or, or even drink alcohol till I was 23 but I played video games my entire life for hours like I'll sit down at the computer and play for eight hours or ten hours some days I'd get up at like 10 in the morning and just play until midnight and go to bed like it was serious and still is I can't play anymore I don't I do but I not much maybe an hour here or an hour there I, I took a game out into the street this game World of Warcraft that I love it's amazing and I just I smashed it in the road I broke it to pieces my friend Anthony and I did that it was fucking amazing it was cathartic it it changed me I changed myself when I did that and then I took all these games on my computer and I just deleted them. I had to. Entertainment is no good. You have to get rid of it. Make it a minimal part of your life. 10% of your life maybe. 5% of your life. You have to focus on reality. You have to focus on the people around you. Everything in the world is based on interpersonal relationships. Everything starts with one-on-one -on -one interaction. Everything you're going to do in the world, it, 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 they're about relationships. Everything, every job, career, everything is about people interacting. As far as I know, I mean, there's always exceptions to the rule, and sometimes it's just maybe just you, but I don't think so. I think every, everything in the world is uh, about a human interaction. It's the most important thing, so do it. Do it. Do it, Ian. Do it. I can't stop. I mean, I can. I don't want to. I tell you, man, I'm, I'm giving into this. I'm, let, I'm letting go, and I'm, and I'm indulging in the human relationship, and it is changing everything in the world. Everything is different than it used to be because I see every person is potential. Every, every person is a, a potential for an amazing moment. Uh, an amazing people are brilliant people are geniuses people have all this amazing you can't things you can't even uh you can't even think you you can't like dream about it 
but people have it somehow and it comes out and it's like you've never heard of it or seen it or, or thought it before but it's there and you indulge in it and it will change you 